Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about memory management in C sharp. So in C sharp there are two types of memories. One is stacked and the other one is heap. The understanding the difference between these two is very important in order to write efficient and correct code. So we'll start with stacked memory and we'll get into heap memory and post that with using a code example. We'll try to uh, see a visual representation of how that happens. So the stack is a region of memory that is used to store local variable and function call information. So basically, whenever there is a variable that is declared within a function, it is uh, stack memory is allocated to it. And the life cycle of it is till the time the function returns a value. The moment the function returns or the function has the function uh, returns the block of memory is below deallocated and the stack pointer moves back to the previous function block of memory. The important property of stack is it's very fast to allocate and deallocate memory from the memory and since stack has a fixed size the memory allocated and deallocated in it is in the LIFO manner that is last in first out. So the, there is a uh, drawback or you can say when you are dealing with stack you have to be careful because there is a limited size of memory in the stack the heap memory is a region of memory that is used to store object it is called heap because it is organized in a particular order and can be accessed randomly so in c sharp when the objects are assigned they are assigned dynamically and whenever you are declaring an object using a new key point or object or the memory is allocated in heap for the same and whenever you are trying to access it it is accessed from the heap and so uh, like whenever you are dealing with the object it is you are required to like uh, deal carefully with it because uh, it is the responsibility of the garbage collector at the end to deallocate the memory from the heap and the heap is more flexible but it is also slower in allocation and deallocation so since heap uh, doesn't have a fixed size so the garbage collection the collector uh, responsibility increases as it has to manage the memory so now let's see through an example so in this case consider that uh, when we are uh, going through we are writing line int x is equal to 5 so whenever we write x is equal to 5 you will see that there is a memory which gets allocated here in the stack with x is equal to 5. Now, when I write in the string y is equal to name of string, in this case, what happens? The y memory is allocated in the heap for string y, whereas uh, in the heap, a new of string is created. So the reference of this new string will be stored in y and the object will be stored in this heap now when we write z is equal to y again uh, memory in the stack will be created and this z will be holding the address of this so now uh, both of z and y will be referencing to the same address now when we write y is equal to null and z is equal to null so as you see the memory is start getting released so y got released and z got released now this x will be there till this function life cycle is there once the function control is returned that time the memory from the stack will be released and also the memory from the heap will be created when the stack is finally created so i hope you would have understood the concept please uh, send share your comments uh, if you have any questions on this feature. Thank you.